headed to Santa Monica to go check out a strongman competition. This is literally the best idea and the worst idea ever. <laughs> with a lot of new people and I've come to realize that there's a lot of misinformation out there. There's a lot of things people just don't know about wheelchair users. We're not sick. I know wheelchairs can sometimes be associated with as a medical device instead of a transportation device and automatically you assume a medical device means that we're sick. We're not. We are disabled permanently for a long time, so we have a permanent long-term disability, but we're not inherently sick. The quality of our lives is regular. Although we do have daily maintenance, that does not mean we are sick. The next thing I wish people knew is that no one has to take care of us. In the beginning, in the hospital, of course, nurses and doctors have to take care of us. But they teach us those self-care tasks to do at home by ourselves. Now, there are some people that do have uh, people come and help them throughout the day, if they choose to, if they need to. But uh, for someone like myself, who lives the type of lifestyle that I live, I've got everything managed on my own. I don't need any nurses to come by and hang out with me. I don't have like a special uh, personal care attendant or anything along those lines. thing I wish people knew about wheelchair users is that we can live alone. I know how to cook, I know how to clean, I know how to do laundry, I know how to make my bed, I know how to go grocery shopping. All of those things I can do on my own. I don't need to have someone live with me, like a, a roommate or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a mom or a dad or a sister or a family member. Um, that's nothing wrong if you do have to do that, but living alone and living independently is absolutely something that can happen if you're a wheelchair user. And most of us do. The next thing I wish people knew about wheelchair users is that we can drive. There seems to be this misconception that we have to have someone pick us up and take us places, that we have to take the bus, or we have to take a special mobility train. Those things are nice. You can use those if you choose to, but we can drive. We just use hand controls instead of your typical feet. Now, I thought this was something that was pretty obvious. Even when I got hurt, I'm like, oh, of course. Like, of course wheelchair users drive. Like, how do they get around? Like, how do they go to the grocery store? How do they go to the doctor's appointments? How do they make it to physical therapy? But I've been getting a lot of questions recently about if I can drive. Yes, we can drive. The next thing, as I wish, people would stop saying sorry all the time. Don't be sorry for us. There's no need to be sorry. Yeah, more than likely we went through a traumatic event that completely changed our life forever, but the more than likely we have come to an acceptance and an understanding and are living a full and active life. There's really no need to be sorry. I know sometimes like people under misunderstand empathy for sympathy and like we don't want your sympathy. Like don't feel sad for us even if it makes you feel good. Like there's no reason to be sad for us. If you want to empathize with us if we're going through a difficult time or a difficult struggle, but like random strangers on the street all the time. Sorry, 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 oh sorry. No, that's demeaning. Stop it. Stop it, get some help. Dwarf taco. You're a baby taco. You're a little baby taco. Okay, we just made it to Santa Monica Pier. Gonna check out this strongman competition. More on the educational stuff after. So remember how I was saying sometimes you get like better seats at events and stuff, this is what I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, you won. 
story, I invite you to listen to why today is so special to this man, Derek. January 19th, 2010, I was on a dismounted patrol as a uh, platoon leader with my men in from Fort Bragg, 82nd Airborne, and we got ambushed on the, uh, uh, on the way we were open. We were actually on a dismounted patrol to open a school for uh, Afghan children when we got hit by a complex ambush. I got hit by a rocket, and then we started taking small arms fire. Long story short, almost 60 surgeries later, um, lost of the left leg, most of the right leg, use of two fingers on the left hand, elbow on the left arm, and part of my right finger. It's easy to get caught up in the nonsense and feeling sorry and making excuses about yourself and looking around and taking things that we have for granted. But uh, what I challenge everybody to do is take a step back and look where they're at right now and look who's around them. And coming together shows that community that we don't take that for granted. And this is the stuff that really matters and we need to continue to do, and fitness is an excellent way to do it. So yeah. go to the gym, yeah. do awesome shit, and make the world a better place. Yeah. Woo! Carl, there we go. And I think after hearing that, we all feel like today we are lucky to be alive, and we're lucky to have heroes like him heroes like our firefighters here today. That was really awesome. We ended up getting here a little bit late, but the good news is we still were able to get up to the front. That Cripple Kid VIP I told you guys about. Anyway, uh, man, that was a really compelling, empowering speech that he said, saying, you know, like, you never know what you have till it's gone. We take things for granted. And, you know, sometimes the best place is to get out your angers and your frustrations is, is hitting the gym. And that's something I, I talk about a lot. <laughs> Who you're gonna run into out here? We just ran into Brad Castleberry, aka the Manimal, and that just rolls into the next thing I want to talk about is like most people in wheelchairs, we're not weak or fragile. If anything, we're more tough and resilient than you ever think. Man, we've been knocked down so many times in our life, you don't have to take care of us and like hold us with white gloves, man. Like, we want to go do stuff, we want to rough our bodies up and have a good time. Pretty cool, but like, literally, it's so sketch. Like, I'm about 99.9% .9 sure that I'm about to fall off at any second, either backwards or sideways or left or right. It's dangerous, but you know what? You kind of like him in danger. Garbage. Another thing that's really commonly misunderstood with wheelchair users is that we can't have children families, wives, girlfriends, or even have sex, which is completely ridiculous. There are ways that we can parent, there are ways that we can be a partner, and there's ways that we can share intimate moments together that are just different than the way you guys do it. If anything, we've got a more uh, diverse platter to choose from because we just don't have your typical options. We have to be real creative and think about what we're doing. wheelchair users is that we don't have jobs or careers that is far from the truth we just do jobs that don't require any physical labor or just a small amount of physical labor I know people that are engineers architects therapists I myself have worked in retail stores before I even know race car drivers that they do that at their, at their job now there are plenty of other options for careers and jobs as a wheelchair user, I just don't know all of them yet. But I do know that there are plenty of them and to automatically assume that we don't work is rather insulting. All right, here's another little tip. If you're ever having struggles going up a steep incline and there's a hand railing, you can grab the hand railing. And it pulls you up a little bit better because pulling is way easier than pushing. From my experience, just make sure you push this one at the same speed. Another common misconception about wheelchair users is that all of us are fully and completely paralyzed. Some of us can stand and even walk a little bit with assistance. Even me, for example. There are two kinds of spinal cord injuries. Complete, 
which means the spinal cord was completely severed, and incomplete, which means the spinal cord itself was damaged. If you're incomplete, you have a high chance of being able to stand and walk with assistance on your own. However, there are some complete injuries that for some madness, miracle of nature and science, they do have the ability to stand and walk with some assistance. wheelchair users is that we are always unhappy, sad, or depressed. The truth is we can become unhappy, sad, and depressed, but over time we come to accept our injury and accept ourselves for who we are and begin to love ourselves. Before I got hurt, my sister used to tell me happiness is a choice, and I used to get frustrated and angry and upset when she said that, because I would think to myself, that's not a choice, I can't make myself be happy. Until I was in a situation when I got hurt and put in the wheelchair where there was nothing but unhappiness and sadness and frustration around me. I still have every reason to whine and bitch and complain and cry and moan and be sad and depressed, but I choose to do things that make me happy. I choose to focus on the positive and not on the negative. Because if I continually focus on the negative and describe my life as negative, guess what? I've got a negative, sad, and depressing life. But this is very important for you really boys to understand. If you choose to focus on the positive, if you choose to focus on the happy, if you choose to focus on what makes you happy and do things that make you happy, you will be a happy person. And therefore, happiness is a choice. You can choose to help people. You can choose to read books. You can choose to bring in positive things into your mind. Dude, I'm not trying to be unrealistic here. Like, I get it. Like, every day is hard waking up. Every little challenge and struggle and difficulty is, is, is a pain. Watch the rest of these videos. You've seen some cool stuff today. Go and look at the rest of the videos that, that I've done if you haven't already watched them. Like, you can see that there's a good quality of life. There's a high quality of life. And it's available for you. But you have to go out and get it. No one's going to bring it to you. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a comment down below about what you wish people knew about wheelchair users. Or if you're not a wheelchair user, leave a comment down below about any questions that you may have about some wheelchair users. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of us down in the comments we'll be able to answer back and forth. Find me on Instagram at wheels to walking find me on Facebook, and we'll see you in the next one.